Okay, so we're balancing, we're trying our best. Hi guys, happy Monday. It's the start to a new weekly vlog. I decided to start it even though it is 421 right now. So I just got back from getting a venti coffee. Um, it's just three shots of espresso over ice and I, I just put in my own oat milk. But at 530, the whatever-a-thon kickoff live show starts. So I am going to speed through a couple of voiceovers that I need to do for my patron. I have my June bullet journal setup that's going up on there exclusively, so I need to record that voiceover. And then I also have a life journal spread thing that I did that needs to go up as well. So let me show you. I'll put in a little overview of my setup uh, after this clip. If you would like to see more of it, um, the link is always in the description down below. But I went for, what I did is I looked up what junk journaling is and then I tried to do like junk journaling but if I was Audrey Rose from Stalking Jack the Ripper. I know that's a very specific theme. So this is what my June setup looks like. The lighting is not good at all because we have a huge storm coming, which I'm excited about. Um, someone commented that they didn't know it rained so much in Texas. It doesn't. I don't know what's going on, um, but I'm not mad about it. And then let me find... Then this is the spread that is going up for my life one. It's this like, I'm just doing random tea spreads. And then I might do some more spreads. I might make some more, might do some bookish ones. Not really sure there, but I want to get those two up. And then I do have a stationary haul that I need to film as well. So there's just a lot going on. But reading wise, I'm still reading the third book in the Jaina De Leon series, the cozy mystery one and Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. That's gonna be my first book for whatever a thon, so I'm very excited to finish it. I may start in on Name of the Wind next, I don't really know, but I'm gonna do Falling Kingdoms first because my goal for this month, for sure, like my big goal, is to be able to finish that series completely because it's one of my faves, just haven't finished it. Newest book came out recently, well, like within the last couple years and I just never read it. So I want to catch up and then read it. It's going to be great. So other than that, I'm going to go record. Well, I already recorded, but I'm going to go record the voiceovers of these videos, get them put up on for my patrons, patrons, and then I'm going to keep reading some more. So I will check in tomorrow with like a better clip <laughs> than this. This is a mess, but hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm not 
Oh wow, <laughs> shorter than I meant to be, oh no. Okay, I can't sit anyways, I gotta stand because um, I got a thing. So I have two things, one is a planner, the other one is something I got sent, which I need to do some stuff for for an Instagram post, but I wanted to unbox it for you guys because it's actually a book pillow. So let me update on reading first. Oh, Lord. Let me get Ginger's carrier out of the way. So, I am reading two fantasies right now. Both fit for the prompts and, what's it called? Um, the genre that I'm in for whatever I thought, so that's good. I also am working on my... Hi, I'm just ahead, but I'm tired. <laughs> I literally just got home. So anyways, I am working on my journal spread for whatever a thon so I'll probably show you guys that when it's done. I'm not gonna record that for anywhere because I'm too lazy and I have to edit tonight. But for Strange the Dreamer, I'm on chapter 8, page 60. I started listening to this this morning. Um, I calculated it. I'll listen to about two hours a week, or two hours a day, back and forth, but I'll probably end up listening to more, like, as I do my rough edits and stuff. So I should finish this within a couple days, which is good. And then Falling Kingdoms, I'm actually very close to finishing, because I forgot how easy it is to fly through this book. So I'm on chapter 26, page 301, so I'm definitely going to be finishing this today. Once I unbox this big guy, something else that I got, and my planner, I'm going to go start in on this. Oh no, I have to edit a TBR, and then I'll start on this. Y'all, my TBR for Thursday is like 40 minutes long. I'm going to have to edit that down, but that's what I'm reading. There we go. So next up, I have a Amazon package. I already took this out. Actually, I didn't take it out. My partner did and then started to unwrap it and I was like, um, excuse me. And then he was like, well, what if it's for me? Could you imagine? So it says, hi Olivia, your vlogs got me out of a huge reading slump, so I wanted to get you something to say thanks. Also, this book is amazing and I hope you enjoy. From Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. It's Lizzie S. I don't want to ever say y'all's last names on here because I don't know. I just assume people don't want their last name said, but the last name starts with an S, in case you're wondering if you're that Lizzie. But she got me... I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella, and this is one of the many romances that I have seen recommended next to romances. There's a man, he just walked across the street wearing a bulletproof vest. Just a random man. He had swim trunks on and a bulletproof vest. Welcome to America. Anyways, this is one of those ones that has been like Goodreads recommends next to a bunch of the romances that I like, plus... I do 
like some of the other books that Sophie Kinsella has put out and it just sounds like a cute one so thank you very much for sending this to me now let's get this unbox I have four minutes left before my uh, thing cuts me off so we gotta go oh my lord this is it thank god it's trash day tomorrow because this is such a big friggin box oh no there's a box in the box there's a punchline in here somewhere. Oh, let me get some scissors. Back it on up. Back it on up. Poor Jake. He is outside waiting to come in, but I have to unbox this because he will be weird. So this is from a company called Vecchia, I think. And they contacted me and they wanted to send me a book light, which I will show you guys. And this pillow eee! okay maybe not i'm really excited for the pillow because i am trying to find like new fun reading spots what is this huh? okay this might need more than i anticipated Oh god, did not think we were going full body cam today, but here we are, ladies. Woo! Oh my. Hey, what an angle, am I right? Glad I wore the pants that are way too big for me. Had it. Let's just cut. Here we go. All right, we're here, just sitting in the car. Look at this floppy limb. That's me. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to unzip it and kind of uh, help it get back to its shape. But I can tell you right now, it's super freaking soft. So I loved this color because it matches our living room. So this won't look weird. <laughs> Hi, just being there. But it is so soft. It's a really good size. It's not like too big, but it's not too small either. So anybody could use this in this household. I love that, but look at it. It literally looks like a teddy bear. This is so awesome. So I'm gonna leave their link down below in case you wanna check it out yourself. And they did give me a code for Instagram, but I'll leave the code in the description here too, just in case you're interested in it. So now let's open something I definitely needed, which is a new planner, obviously. So <laughs> I've been diving further down the rabbit hole that is Instagram planner, town, whatever. And um, let's just start off with, it's an expensive rabbit hole. Ah, It's probably not what I need to be in. To be honest with myself, let's cut it this way. Really excited to be doling the heck out of these scissors. The only pair in the house. Okay. So this is like, this is a Vander Speck, a VDS planner. If you know anything about planners, if you care, this is like the iconic thing that comes with it. I will be doing on Patreon. I've decided when I do set this one up, I'm going to do a full planner setup video which I think is going to be really fun. I've never done one before. I'm very excited to do it. I just need to get a couple more orders in and then we'll be good to go. But, oh, it just, it smells like money because it costs a lot of money. Also, I think, I don't remember where it's shipped from, but it's not in here. It's not in America. So this is called a fly leaf. Hi, welcome to my planner channel. Um, and then we have the actual planner. So if you know anything about planners, I am an A6 rings planner person. They are my favorite thing in the world. It's the best size. It's big enough for everything I need, but also small enough to keep in my purse. But this is what it looks like. And there goes the inside thingy. But it's so perfect. Oh my God, look at it guys. So it has a zipper, it has a little pocket here, it has all the wallet stuff right here. And then in here I put all of my content planning stuff and my finance planning things. And it has this back pocket. 
It's beautiful. This is literally beautiful. I always have a lot to say, but I'm speechless. This is so gorgeous. I love this. Like this is, wow. Wow. I have never splurged on a planner like this before, but man, I might do it again. <laughs> Actually, I already did it again. But to be fair, I bought it from a buy sell trade group and I just got the black version for when I wanna do a fall setup. But I just think it's so beautiful. So if you care about planner stuff, that'll be showing up on my Patreon a lot. Coming up soon. Well, actually, yeah, soon, because I want this to be my summer planner. So that was truth. But anyways, um, now I need to go edit my TBR so that I can get that emailed out to get it approved. And then I'm going to feed my children. And people have asked, no, I don't have human children. I'm referring to Ginger and Jake. So, yeah. But um, after that, I'm going to cuddle up with this beautiful pillow and read. So, join in if you'd like. Actually, I think there are some reading spots tonight. So, that's exciting. Oh, yay. Okay, bye. Oh, hiya. <laughs> um, we're gonna be doing this kneeling thing again because I'm too lazy to set up a real recording situation. Yes, Ginger, I hear you. Let's talk about the books I finished. I am here with two finished books. Day two of June. Granted, I don't know what, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna give myself this because I, I don't know what happened with Stranger Dreamer. I was on chapter eight last night and I finished it today, like on the way home. Great, I've been, I've been listening to it like nonstop all day, so that's probably what happened. But yeah, I did. So this guy is done officially, and I loved it. Again, five stars, again, of course. And did I show y'all my uh, Laszlo bookmark? Because, <laughs> can we just take a moment? Because he deserves it. Cause it's great it's great it's all just great so this one was a reread I already said that five stars it was so good y'all so I'm reading this at the same time a bunch of my patrons are on discord and that's really fun because it's like an accidental buddy read kind of but it is such a slow start and they're talking about it being a slow start and I know that but if you've not read this I still like you should give it a chance because it was so, so, so good. And I can't, I just, I can't even form words for how much I love this book. The writing is beautiful. It's lyrical. Lainey Taylor is kind of my probably favorite YA fantasy writing style because I just love the over the top, flowery, beautiful, sensory overload writing. It's just so mm, magical. And I forgot the ending. I know the one part. Um, how do I say this? If you've read the book, the, um, the boom clap, if you will, like boom up here and then clap down here, through here. Do you know who I'm talking about? What I'm talking about? Hmm? So, um, yeah, that part is what I recalled. I didn't recall the ending ending, I guess. So I was listening to that in the car and I was like, so I don't recommend the audiobook by itself. I think the audiobook with this is a really good idea. I think this is a really good idea. I feel like the audiobook, the narrator, he's great, but this is not a fast-paced book and he is a very slow-paced kind of narrator vibe to him. So it, it, it doesn't work for this. So I would recommend reading it physically. And then I'm just gonna say that I'm picking up Rebel Spring. My camera's gonna die. I'm picking up Rebel Spring. I just finished Falling Kingdoms last night. So this is the second book, picking this up. I don't know if I'm gonna pick anything else up because the problem is I wanna finish, I wanna start a dark, and, a dark and hollow star and the once in future, which is this weekend on the Patreon Buddy Read sprints that I'm doing on Saturday. So there's that. Also, oh wait, no, I know what this is. I got an Amazon package from myself, I think. 
and it's a birthday present to myself because you know july 6th cancer where you at it's me it's me the best i have two students that also have the exact same birthday as me like wow look at us go but i did get another package that i opened and so that's why i know what this one is because i bought it myself it's the tea dragon society third book very excited for it but i'm gonna save it for my birthday to myself is that weird honestly any amazon packages i get at this point i'm just gonna save them for my birthday because i keep buying myself books but i say it's for your birthday so then i will unbox them on my birthday vlog i guess from myself to myself for myself self-care 2021 but um ebony sent me this and i am so excited for this book this is the one i unboxed like i said it's called the library of the dead y'all first of all this sounds like a book i would love second of all thank you so much for sending this to me like look at this it is beautiful like i i don't even know it's about a library where this it's in it's in scotland guy okay i don't have time to talk about this book i will talk about it when i read it my camera battery is dying thank you so much for sending me this i hope you see this there was no instagram handle or anything but if you have one let me know what it is so i can thank you personally but other than that bye <laughs> we gotta go get our storm buddy oh how's it looking outside jake how's it looking out how's it looking Hi guys, so it is Friday, June 4th, and I just got home, and I had our, I just set you back up, please stop falling, it's not cute, I just got all of these packages off my porch, because I ordered us a new bed frame, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully, we will build it this weekend. I think it's going to look much better in our bedroom than the one that we currently have. I just finished this book, which is the third book in the Jana De Leon series. It's the Cozy Mystery series. I gave this one three stars. I only gave it three stars because it was still hilarious. Still did exactly what I wanted to do. It was still cozy. Everything that I loved. It just didn't pull me in like the other ones had, so I knocked it down a star. But really, it was still great, and I still recommend this series. So I bought the fourth one. I may start that tonight, but I also am reading... Let me grab it. So I have Muse of Nightmares on audiobook standby, which is why you saw me pick it up. I'm trying to do new clips to signal when I start a book and when I end a book, isn't that fun but that one i'm not actively reading at the moment but it's my audiobook technically i just don't feel like listening to an audiobook right now but physically i am reading rebel spring which is the second book in the fallen kingdom series i am a little further and i think i'm on chapter eight so let's actually see because i'm reading it on ebook because i have an e copy of all these books as well as the physical because the first time i ever read them i read them on my kindle and then i was like oh my god i love these so i wanted more so i'm actually on page 102 which is further than i thought right here so that's nice um i do think that i will probably finish that one this week which will bring the total of books that i finished this week i finished stranger dreamer falling kingdoms the last cozy mystery and then hopefully rebel spring so four and then tomorrow on the patreon sprints for the book club that we have going on over there. I'm gonna start a dark and hollow star. Very excited. We also announced our buddy read for July, which is my birthday month. So I was really trying to convince Mel that this needed to happen. And I was like, I mean, it's it's only my birthday, but if you don't wanna read it, it's fine. But we are reading it. Honk honk to you too. But we are reading it. And that is The Priory of the Orange Tree. So this will be my third reading of this book. 
it's my favorite epic fantasy. It is so, so good. And people say there aren't enough dragons in here, but I don't agree. Like, I think there is definitely a lot of dragonage going on. And you can see my tabs. I might be adding to these tabs. I can't remember if I put my tabbing system in the book, but maybe this time I will. But yeah, I'm just very excited that we're reading this. So if you're interested, links. But uh, yeah, I can't, I already can't wait and it's only June 4th, but I'm already like, okay, but July. So aside from those books, I don't really have much else to update you guys on. I think what I'm gonna do now is go walk on the treadmill and listen to a podcast episode because my brain needs a little bit to decompress from reading all day because all of the kids' technology got taken away. So really our options are reading or watching movies. So we've been doing both because why not? But uh, yeah, I'm going to go do that and figure out what we're going to do for dinner. But... I will update you guys later. It'll probably be tomorrow just because I'm not, I think I am going to start something that isn't fantasy, which I know is already going off of my TBR, which no one's surprised at, which is, that's why I said my TBR is basically a giant on my radar this month. But I put up a poll in the discord of, should I start the final girl support group by Grady Hendrix, which is his new horror that's coming out in July, or if I should start, what's the other one? I think it's The Love Hypothesis. And the reason I even, so that one I got approved for on NetGalley. And I was like, oh, sweet. Love to have a romance. Comes out in September. It'll be great for after this giant month of fantasy. Well, I looked on Goodreads to add it to my arcs to read shelf. And someone said that it looked like on the cover Raylo, but put into scientists and nerdy. And I was like, Okay, I guess I have to read it now because I don't know. I've talked about this before. If you're new here, hi, hello. I know I'm crazy. But having actors to pictures of the characters in books is so freaking helpful for me because it makes it more fun and it makes the book play out like a movie in my head. I don't have problems picturing characters in my mind, but I just prefer to have someone that I've literally seen like in a movie or TV show where I know their mannerisms and how they would act out things, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's it. That's why that Okay, camera is having a little bit of a freak out, which is leading me to a little bit of a freak out, but that's why it cut off. What was I even freaking saying? <sighs> Don't remember, but oh, let's check the Discord and see what was voted for because I can read on my Kindle when I'm walking, which is nice, so I may end up doing that. Oh lord. Oh no. There's so many votes. Oh. It was, so it was one for the love hypothesis, which was just me putting the emoji on there so people could vote, 12 for final girl support group, and then one for the girls are never gone, which is like a uh, YA horror, I think. Um, but yeah, pretty much everyone was saying that I should read the final girl support group. So I guess that's what I'm going to start. I don't mind that because I think that it'll be... A really fast read. What I actually I may end up doing because my partner's not getting home till later. Maybe we'll do a try a chapter together and we can try a chapter of the love hypothesis, the final girl support group, and they are never gone because I'm in the mood for something creepy but real life or romance. Um, but I want to make sure and I don't want to like get in a reading slump because I need to actually like for real for real start this book tomorrow on the sprints so yeah and oh oh wait what time is it it's almost five so mel's sprints are gonna start soon perfect perfect timing let's get to it let's get to it
dark. Hey guys, let me zoom right the heck back out. So, welcome to a weekly vlog update and how are you doing? It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I just got done filming a announcement video that is going up Saturday. So, keep your peepers open because it's exciting. Um, other than that though, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, I did sprints yesterday on the old Patreon. If anyone was there, I was attacked thoroughly for my lack of understanding of the French language. Um, it's not lay, it's Lou. So Lou Fantasma is our book club. So we were doing book club sprints over there for that book club with Mel, which was really fun yesterday. I did not last very long. Granted, I actually, we lasted four hours, but we only sprinted twice because we were talking so much, but it's all good. Um, I started the book club pick, which is a dark and hollow star. When I tell y'all I'm obsessed with this book, I truly am. So my plan now is to, let's, 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 let's see what audiobooks I have available. I may start Muse of Nightmares, but honestly, I'm kind of in the mood for something. Why is that only seven hours long? Oh, it's because it's two times speed. I was like, well now, hold the mother phone, because if that is only seven hours long, that's three hours in my time. Well, just sister speed, but uh, that's not the case. So, let's see. Please connect to my phone. Hello? Nar, Clayar. Okay, there it is. So, I'm not 100% sure what I want to listen to. Um, maybe I should, like, actually consult my real TBR just to make sure. Because if I'm honest, none of these fantasy sound very good right now on audiobook, so I'm probably just gonna stick with the old Muse of Nightmares and we'll go that route because I'm gonna go grab coffee now because I need to edit that video for Saturday. I need to finish editing this vlog and then I need to just read until we're going over to my parents for dinner, which I also have to pick up. So we have to leave earlier than I thought. So I've got about four hours to do all this. In my mind, not enough time. In actual real people world, plenty of time and time to spare, but we'll just see how it goes because I have no concept of time or how to use it properly. And that's just the truth. 
But I do have one thing. Where is my one thing? Oh dear me. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Yeah, great, brilliant. I did, <laughs> just to keep you guys updated on the goings on in this house, um, I did buy another blank. It is, you know, gonna just go on the birthday pile. My Bath and Body Works order also got here. I'm gonna stick that on the birthday pile too because I don't need any of the candles right now. It's super hot where I live, so probably they're melted and need to rest anyways. And it gives me more to unbox on my birthday. And honestly, then I can justify spending 100 bucks on candles because there was a sale and it was for my birthday. So, that's fine. But I have the Sip Spy box for this month. So I wanted to unbox that and show you guys because I am um, just, I just love, I love Sip Spy boxes now. I mean, I have for a while, but I'm really getting into them because I'm trying a lot more tea. I'm trying to make it a habit of trying one a night, but sometimes I forget. And then other times I purposely forget because I want an oat milk latte. <laughs> but here we have the first one, which is a zest green tea. Apparently on the back it said it compares it to coffee the green tea and then actual zest green tea So that's interesting. So this is definitely not a nighttime one That's another thing that's kind of hard is these are predominantly not nighttime ones, which is my bad I asked for them not to be but I probably should switch to them being Nighttime ones without caffeine because you know, that's when I'm able to try them here. We have I think this is a chai black tea. It says black tea on the back and then chai on the front. So there's that for you. Um, if you don't know, I'll link it down below for more information, but Sipspy basically they just go based off of a taste test quiz that you take. What kind of teas you want, if you want fruity, if you want more like leaning towards coffee, if you want sugary, if you want dessert teas. Uh, you just take that quiz, they figure it out for you, and they send you samples of teas, and then you get a huge discount. I think it's a huge discount uh, percentage off of the full size if you end up liking some of them, which I already have found multiple that I really liked and bought the full size of, so I just think it's a fun little monthly box, and you can get your first one for, you know, a discount if you use my link, but there you go. And then here is this, and I don't know, I see lemongrass on the back, but it's a herbal tea with moringer leaves and lemongrass. Mm. Don't know what that means. This one sounds, well, it says morning start, so I guess this also has caffeine, probably, but it boosts the immune system, which considering the fact that I just had a cold, I probably could have used. And then the last one is a black tea, which I'm starting to realize I really like black teas because I can put milk in them. I don't know why that's something I need to be able to do, but it is. And I don't know. Um, well, black, it's black tea, so yeah, no, that's not going to be at nighttime. But as you saw me struggle through all that, um, these are great because it has on the back the name and then all of the caffeine levels. So, our black currant burst is high caffeine, yeah. And then the chai, high caffeine, yeah. The mojito one is that zest green tea, which is coffee level caffeine. But to be honest, when I have coffee, I go to sleep. So, not sure there. Oh, and then Morning Star is actually caffeine free. So, that's interesting. Did not know that. But I like that they include a variety of different caffeine levels in them because then you don't have to just have a lot of caffeine because sometimes, like me, I don't know if you know this, but I take in a lot of caffeine. I need to calm the down. So, that's fine. If you want to try them, I'll link them down below. But uh, other than that, I think that's all I got for you. Do you like my shirt? It's supposed to be a spooky shirt to go along with a spooky announcement. Can you guess what the announcement is? Yeah. Oh, let's do the emoji of the day now in case I forget to do it later. But emoji of the day is a ghost to go along with the announcement video. Does that give you a hint? And uh, yeah, now I'm going to go get coffee and I'm going to edit this video so that I can get back to reading A Dark and Hollow Star and Rebel Spring. Those are my, both are my two books for right now.
Hello everybody. So I just got back from dinner at my father's and oh, the lights are flickering. No, we have to fix that. Oh, no, they're still flickering. Okay, they're not flickering. Okay, so have I updated? Uh, I don't think so. So I'm gonna wrap this up now. So I'm on chapter four of this one for the Lou Fantasma. Lou Fantasma. That's how the uh, Google Translate person says it. So that's how I says it. This one, four chapters in, absolutely loving it. Probably gonna keep going with it tonight because I love myself. Next up, Fallen Kingdoms. Finished it, five stars, great time. Do recommend, like seriously recommend. This series is so good, so bingeable. Really good for a readathon, Avi. And then also it's really good for intro to fantasy if you don't know a lot about fantasy or you just want to try out some more fantasy that's not urban fantasy. Then I have Rebel Spring. I'm about 10 chapters into this one. I am really enjoying it. It's a reread. I knew I would. This is the second book to Fallen Kingdoms. So I'm going to keep going with this one, carrying on into next week. And then the other one that I finished was Strains of Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This one I gave another five stars. It was a, another reread for me. A great time. I do highly recommend this one as well. I recommend listening to the audio while reading it, but probably not the audio by itself. Uh, this one, probably my favorite of the week. It's probably my favorite to reread this one because it was just a straight up good time and I forgot how good that ending is. I knew half of it, totally forgot the other half that just like blew my mind. And then I also finished the third book in that cozy mystery series that I've been reading. I gave that one three stars. It wasn't as good as the other two, but I bought the fourth one. So that is still my transition to bedtime because I try not to read with a table lamp on right before bed. So I read on my Kindle and that's typically the one that I go with, although I do have both the other books, A Dark and Hollow Star and Rebel Spring on my Kindle too because I just need all formats of a book apparently. And then I did show that I started Muse of Nightmares on audio. I picked it up off of Libro earlier this week and I am not very far into it at all, but it's really good. It's still good. <laughs> Also, I was just thinking how good a title this is. Like, I just love this title. So, yeah, just having a great time with this one. And I think what will end up happening is I will hopefully finish Muse of Nightmares next week. And then I will start into the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. So, that is about all I've got for you. So, I finished four books this week. That's pretty good. Love, love that. And then carrying on into next week will be these three. So there you go. Look at me. Oh, plus the ebook that I'm reading. But look at, look at, look at me having a plan. It's new. New year, new me. It's June. But anyways, uh, but that was my SD card being full and my camera cutting me off for it. So that is a sign, friendos. Remember, emoji of the day is a ghost. So leave me those down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I will talk to you in the comments down below, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!